one, and he's an assistant coach, not a head coach. There's only one black coach in the NF, NH, what is it? Yeah, NHL, NHL, National Hockey League. One, and he's an assistant coach for the Flames. Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? And, and Welcome to Rip Yo Side. How are you doing after the day? Hopefully you come in and enjoy us because we got a lot to talk about. I got my main guy on, Terry G, and we just going to get straight into it, a.k.a. Big Dog. We're going to get straight into it. We're going to highlight Black History Month. What we got today, uh, Big Dog? Well, what we got today is we're going to honor, because we're going to be talking about this a little later on in the show, but what we're going to do is honor some of our black coaches. And, yes. and I put it in all four major sport. I'm going to label this now. Y'all going to be shocked when y'all hear these numbers, but don't uh don't get too Let's shocked because we already it. know. Now, get this. We're going to start off with the NBA. NBA only got eight black coaches among 30 NBA teams. You mm. only got eight. Okay. But black players make up 75% of the league, am I correct? Or 75 and it should be. Then that means if I have 30 teams, I should at least damn near have 20 black coaches yes. in the NBA. And we're not talking about assistant coaches because we know we got a lot of black assistant coaches in the NBA, but we don't have that many black coach head coaches in the NBA, which I think is a crying shame. Now we're right. going to go to the number one sport that has 32 teams, in only the has three black quarterbacks. Man, somebody tell me, is there a, a problem three black with that? head coaches? Uh, three. I'm talking about three. Okay. I'm sorry, I said okay. quarterback. Yeah, three yeah, black yeah. head coaches. Now, somebody tell me something is wrong here. Some you got to tell some me what's up. going on with this picture here. That you got 32 teams, and out of 32 teams, we only got three uh, black head coaches. Now, if oh. we want to go on, you know how we always want to do. We want to praise the little white boy over there in Tampa Bay. Like he won a goddamn uh, Super Bowl. He ain't hey, why you shit. coming after Tom Brady like I'm that? I'm coming after him because everybody want to talk about some goat. They ain't do, doing he it. He ain't no damn goat. <laughs> Let me tell you something. The man has the greatest assistant, black coaches in That's Tampa Bay. It that all should be head coaches right now. I don't they think nobody be. can de deny that five black head coaches in Tampa Bay should be head coaches somewhere in the NFL. Not only those five, but the one that's in Kansas City should be a head coach, which is the, yes. the in, uh, be enemy. Eric be enemy, yeah. You understand? So I don't understand how you got 32 teams and only got three black head coaches. It's a problem. That's what I'm trying to tell y'all. It is a problem. Now let's move on to this one. 30 teams in Major League Baseball. Oh, in Major League, okay. Five black managers, because you know they have managers. Yeah. Five black managers and 37 total coaches. Assistant. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Which is great. I mean, because of the fact of, I mean, you can you can get, you know. Out of 30 teams, only five black managers. Come on now. We can we can shrink in that down, but you I gotta give them their props. 37 total coaches. That's first baseman, second baseman, outfield yeah. coach, pitching coach. You know what I'm saying? So if we really look at it, that's pretty decent for baseball. Yeah. You know, yeah. for being yep. starting out a predominantly all white sport. Yeah, you know? but wouldn't you think that baseball would be more transparent because if we're going back on it, you know, Jack, Jackie Robinson was the first to actually break the, the major league barrier for, for blacks. So when you think that major league was should be the more diverse? Now, I understand. It should it, be. It, it should is be. diverse. It is diverse but, when but it comes you have to other more, cultures. You got more foreigners you know as coaches in yeah. baseball than you do blacks. Yeah. You know, so, I mean, I don't know. I still just saying out of 30 teams, you only got five. You know, I right. mean, you come on, y'all got to do better on that, you know. But let's get to this one here. Now, this one here, oh, you I mean, know. I'm not really shocked at it. I mean, you can, I can understand that one though. You talking about hockey? Am I correct? But, 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 I mean, still, one, and he's an assistant coach, 
not a mm -hmm. head coach. There's only one black coach in the NF, NH, it, what is it? Yeah, NHL, NHL, National Hockey League. One, and he's an assistant coach for the Flames. Yeah. I, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and um, if I'm being honest with you, I can't, I mean, it may be more black players in the uh, National Hockey League, but I can only think of one black, I mean, uh, black athlete. I, I'm sure he's not American black all the way. I don't want to say it like that or, or, or sound biased or nothing. But uh, PK Subban, I, he's from Canada. He's a he's a black athlete. Um, but when I what I mean by he's just not an American black athlete is uh, you know, in urban areas it's hard for us to find hockey. You know what I'm saying? We we not interested in hockey like that. Well, it's you know? not that. It's just that I figure I will highlight the top four sports. Yeah. You know, you know, which that is the top four sports yeah. that's out here. So I thought I would highlight that. But I tell you what, every last one of them got to take their hat off to the first black coach, which was Bill Russell. Right. You know what I'm saying? They all have to take their hat off to the first black coach in all sports was Bill Russell. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we had our first black coach in the NFL, but that was later on down the road. I think that was in the 90s. I think it was in, in the, I think it was 1990 or something like that was the first mm -hmm. black coach in the um, in the NFL. NFL. You know, I don't even know when it was the first black coach in uh, baseball. I should have looked that up, went a little further and looked that up, yeah. which one was the first in uh, baseball. But um, anyway, I thought, thought I would want to highlight that in, uh, you know, being this is Black History, this last week of Black right. History, thought I wanted to highlight that with our coaches because we got to do better. You know, we, you're talking about billion dollar sports. Basically, when you're talking about the NBA and the NFL, got to do better. I'm sorry, 30 teams and you only got eight black coaches, got to do better. 32 and then, teams and you only got and three black coaches, got to do better. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not going to tell me that one of these white coaches can do better or a black coach. You're not going to tell me that, you know, because right. it ain't too many black uh, white coaches better than Mike Tomlin. You can't tell me that they are. You see what I'm saying? Andy Reid wouldn't be shit without Eric the Bay enemy. Once he leave, we'll see what, how, what's going on. You go down there in Tampa Bay, you lose all five of them, where Tampa Bay going to be at? Y'all want to talk about your great Tom Brady. Where Tampa Bay going to be at? Cause see, right. this is what we're not looking at behind the scenes. Who's actually doing the work that's making you look good. 